Today we're going to talk about dimension analysis. And what dimension analysis is, is it's a systematic method to change units of measurements. And what I mean by that is that you want to change from one measurement to another. In order to do that, you're going to need a conversion factor. And a conversion factor are two equivalent measurements that have different units. So think about standard old style wooden ruler that is measured out in inches. Well, a one foot ruler would be 12 inches. So these are two different uh, units of measurement, but they're measuring the same thing. 12 inches equals one foot. Think about time. If you think about their time, there are lots of different ways you can measure the same length of time. For instance, what we could do is we can measure in seconds, we can measure in minutes, we can measure in hours, days, years, etc. So these are conversion factors, like 60 seconds equals one minute. Okay, Same amount of time, just different units of measure. Or 60 minutes is equivalent to one hour. And again, something's one hour long, it's 60 minutes long. Same value. 24 hours is equivalent to one day. So same value, just different units. So we're going to do some practice conversions here. And before we begin, it's really important to understand that what we're trying to do here is we're trying to learn a technique. So focus on learning the technique do not focus on the answer. These problems are designed to be fairly simple. So we, we do, they're not meant to be difficult. Uh, so let's focus on learning the technique. A pe here's our first question. A piece of rope is five feet long. How many inches is the rope? Now you might be able to do that in your head right away, but we're gonna work through the technique. So the first thing we need to do is find a given value. And in the problem, the given value is five feet. And we also want to find a target unit. This is what we're going to convert to. And the target unit is inches. So we're going to draw ourselves a horizontal line and a vertical line. And what we're doing is we're setting up a series of fractions. And you're going to see how we're going to use these in a second. So we're going to take our given value and we're going to put it at the starting point. So we're going to take the five feet, we put it there. And now we're going to use our conversion factors. Well. 12 inches is equivalent to one foot. That's our conversion factor. So we're going to take this conversion factor, we're going to put it into the next section on our little table. Now, in order to cancel units, they have to be diagonal from one another. What I mean is one has to be in the numerator, one has to be in the denominator. So if we write one foot in the denominator and 12 inches in the numerator, we can cancel out the foot unit. This leaves us with just inches. So now we have to solve it. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these values times each other. 5 times 12 over 1, or 5 times 12, is equal to 60. So how many inches are in, is the rope? It is 60 inches long. Okay, 5 times 12 is 60, so it's 60 inches long. Here's the second problem. How many seconds are in one day? Okay. So the given value in this problem is one day. The target unit, what we're trying to convert that one day to, is seconds. So again, we're going to draw a horizontal line, we're going to draw a vertical line, and we're going to take our given value, we're going to put it in the starting point. So we take our one day and we put it right here. Okay? So now we're going to go through and start thinking about the conversion factors we need. Well, we need to convert days to something, so we're going to say that one day is equivalent to 24 hours. So, the day goes in the denominator in the next section, and 24 hours goes in the numerator. Okay? That will allow us to cancel out the days. But now what we need to do is we need to extend this. So we're going to draw another section, and we're going to use another conversion factor. Since we're in hours, we're trying to get the seconds, we need to convert the hours. One hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. So one hour goes in the denominator, 60 minutes goes in the numerator, the hours cancel, and we're left with minutes. 
but our, again our target unit is not minutes it's seconds so we got to do a, yet another conversion so we're going to extend this a little bit further one minute is equal to 60 seconds so again minutes go in the denominator seconds go in the numerator 60 seconds cancel out the minutes and we should be left with our target unit which is seconds and you can see that's all that's left so now we have to solve it so again we're going to multiply the values times each other so this becomes 1 times 24 over 1 times 60 over 1 times 60 which is just 1 times 24 times 60 times 60 which is 86,400 so the answer is 86,400 seconds are in one day so let's try one more problem on this very basic dementia analysis tutorial. How many minutes are in a year? Well, again, find the given value. The given value is one year. And then you need to find the target value or the target unit. And the target unit is going to be minutes. So we're going to draw our horizontal line. We're going to draw our vertical line and we're going to put one year in the starting point. Well, you should know that 365 days is a year, so we're going to put that in, cancel out the years, that leaves us in days. But again, we're running to minutes, so we got to do another step. There are 24 hours for every one day, so we're going to cancel out days now. There are 60 minutes for every one hour, so we're going to cancel out hours. This leaves us with our target unit of minutes. So we're going to multiply everything through. 365 times 24 times 60. That's going to be equal to 525,600. So the answer is 525,600 minutes in one day. And so now what I want you to do is I want you to do the homework for section A using your table of conversions. Um, and once you do that, you should come back and then watch uh, part B of this where the problems are going to be a little bit more complex. We're going to use fractional conversion factors and fractional starting values.